of this matchup in my division would probably, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't know who the toughest is. You know, I don't think I don't think the guy in there. I don't think there's a guy alive that can that can give me a tough matchup right now. You know, what I mean, I feel confident going in against anyone in the roster, the champ, the top ten, anyone. I feel I have them spooked. Um, but honestly, there's high level guys in there. Uh, you don't you don't get to the UFC and not know what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's the, it's the premier organization of combat sports. So. But honestly, I'm so confident in my ability. I, I, I honestly feel like I'm cool culinary born, yeah? Celtic warrior. So, you can put me in where I am, I'm still gonna whoop their ass. Tonight I am wearing a Louis Copeland original. Um, I have my D-Tron branded Dicky Bow. These guys are my clothing apparel sponsor, MMA apparel sponsor. And they made specific uh, bow ties for me because they know I like to look good. I like stuff that fits well and I like suits and, and I like nice things, you know what I mean? That's it. But uh, fashion faux pas, not in your life. <laughs> uh, it's obviously me, man. You could name anyone. I'm gonna say me. Yeah, but Joe Rogan's more. Who wears like leather jackets and, and stupid shit and jeans? And I don't know. I don't think he. The Americans don't have the dress. Let's be honest. They don't have a clue. You know what I mean? It's the European slimline style, you know. And uh, so definitely, definitely, I, I dress better than Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe was actually. Uh, a pretty good fighter himself. He's a Taekwondo black belt. He's also a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. He's been around the fight game a long time. I still whoop his ass though. There's a reason why I'm in there and he's behind the mic. <laughs>